number 13 Demon Street. I am condemned to live here, to suffer on this earth eternally, as a punishment for my sin. It is said that no greater outrage was ever committed by any mortal. But should I find a crime more heinous, my terrible punishment will end. here, um, depth unit of the storage, 60 by 30 centimeter, um, now to be sold to the highest bidder, how much bid do I get? 20 crowns, 25 crowns. Why do you bid for that old cardboard box? Who knows what's in it? Maybe the treasures of the Arabian Nights. 30 crowns. 30 crowns, sold to this gentleman. A chest here, a wooden chest, antique, locked, contents unknown. How much should I get for that? A thousand crowns. Are you out of your mind? Did I hear a thousand? No! Yes! Do I hear eleven uh, hundred? Sold to this gentleman. <laughs> Say, turn around a minute, will you? thousand crowns and I'm running around in rags. Rag mink. That's a pretty expensive kind of an animal. Hey, you. Now tell me, how do I get this monster home? If this box contains a royal scepter, a purple cloak, and a crown, you'll get it, my pet. I'll crown you queen of nagging. I hate to nag, Pa. I hate myself for it. Huh. This must have been in this box a hundred years. And all that for a thousand kroner. what you needed most. This is an antique. I don't think I made such a bad deal after all. Now you will be stargazing. Anything to get away from me. The stars aren't far enough away, my dear, when you're in one of these moods. Can I help it? You were in love with me once, Paul, and I still am with you. Here we go again. The same old conversation as if my vanishing love for you made all the difference in the world. of a poem. Starlight, star bright, grant me the wish I wish tonight. What do you wish tonight, my dear? Remember how we used to go off traveling on weekends and find new places together and laugh? 
Paul, why don't we do that again? Take a few days off, just the two of us, and try to... What's happened to you, Paul? I don't know what's happened to our marriage. I only know that I'm... What? Can't you grow up? Grow up? Marriage isn't a perpetual state of holding hands and making love. The honeymoon is over. I see. But you don't. You always try to hold on to romance. Take a look at yourself. You've always got a glass in your hand. As if that could keep you in a perpetual state of bliss. What are you trying to do, booze yourself into romance? You know very well what's going on. What is going on, Paul? Look, I'm not in love with you anymore. You understand that? Can you get that through your head? Grow up, will you? I don't want to grow up. <laughs> this I can see. I live my life and you live yours as you see fit, Paul. I don't want to let go of that happiness, that romance as you call it. I told you it was finished. I sometimes wish you were dead. You do what? Yes, dead. If you were dead, you couldn't ruin me as you are trying to do. So this romance, as you call it, is more important than I am. Yes. Tomorrow is another day. The 2nd of July. Another empty day. You're drunk. Go to bed. Hilda. I hope so, too. Oh, I'm starving to death. <laughs> I'll get something good for you. Oh, good. And we'll eat right away, Hilda? Anytime. We're going to have that wiener schnitzel Mr. Kessler likes so well. Good, he'll like that. Thank you, Hilda. Get ready for dinner, dear. Hilda's having that wiener schnitzel you like so well. Ready for dinner, dear. Hilda's having that wiener schnitzel you like so well.
haven't had your dinner. I wasn't hungry. Why aren't you in bed? I'm having a nightcap. What's wrong, Paul? I hope you weren't thinking of moving into it. Why? It's a doomed house. Doomed? There have been three murders in it already. Murders? The last one happened only about a year ago. A man got killed. Who murdered him? His wife. I see. You know, I live in that house. You do? Ever since I moved in, I've had premonitions. As if someone wanted to kill me. <laughs> Why don't you do something about it? What can I do? <laughs> I had a friend once. It was during the war. He had such premonitions. He had the idea that a sergeant was going to send him to his death. What did he do? He shot the sergeant. <laughs> Good night. Kessler. Good morning, Hilda. Is Mrs. Kessler up? No, she's still asleep. I see. I want some breakfast. I have it ready. I'm coming.
You want something else? No, thank you. Aren't you a mess? Out all night, really living it up. Shut up. I'm sorry if I snapped at you, Paul, but I was so worried. Are you all right? Will you shut up? Paul, what's got into you? I know what you're thinking. I know what you're planning. Planning what? I tell you, I know. I know. Hello, this is Mrs. Kessler. May I speak to Dr. Carlson, please? Hello, Dr. Carlson. I'm very worried about my husband. He's been acting strangely for several days, and, well, last night he didn't come home at all. And today he doesn't seem rational at all. If you could just drop by. Oh, thank you. Mrs. Kessler, I'm very sorry about Mr. Kessler. I hope the doctor will help him. All right, all right. I'm sure everything will be fine with Mr. Kessler. Are you all right? I don't think he's badly hurt. Let's get him to the sofa. Mm. I've warned him a million times about that wardrobe. Oh, yes. Ha, ha, ha. 